Hi, it's David here. Um, I've got the video book review for you today. I'm looking at Star Trek The Original Series, Serpents in the Garden by Jeff Marriott. Uh, I'll have a picture of it down below for you and, uh, and Jeff Marriott's coordinates as well if you want to get in touch with the author. Um, so this is an original series story. It, it happens just before V'ger visits uh, Earth or the Enterprise, or wherever V'ger went from Star Trek The Motion Picture. So at this point in time, uh, Jim Kirk is an admiral. And, uh, and, and in San Francisco at Starfleet to headquarters and not enjoying his life as a desk jockey. Uh, meanwhile, Spock and the others are enterprising around. They're doing stuff in space. And so, um, so he's, he's stuck there behind a desk and not liking it. Um, so the story itself focuses on Admiral Kirk. And um, what he does uh, here is, is he notices that there's a lot of Klingon activity around the planet Neural. Now, Neural, you might remember, uh, it, it was featured in the episode on TV called A Private Little War. It featured the hill people and the villagers. Uh, and the villagers themselves were, were being supported by the Klingons. They, they gave them weapons, for example. Uh, and and so Kirk investigated this, and he got attacked by the Mugatu uh, beast. You know that the the guy dressed up in the the white ape like uniform or whatever it was costume had a big horn on its head and spikes down the back. Anyway, he got bitten, and uh, and the Kanutu woman um, put a mako root on his shoulder. Remember that uh, to cure him of this the deadly venom. Anyway. Um, you might recall at the end of that episode, what Kirk did was he actually supplied the Hill people with a hundred flintlock rifles to kind of balance the power there. Uh, and it was, a, it was a metaphor for the Vietnam War going on at the time where the Americans and her allies were supporting one side and the Soviets and their allies were supporting another side. And it was an arms race basically going on. Um, so anyway, at this point in time, Kirk is noticing a lot of Klingon activity in the area around Neural, so he wants to go investigate. He feels like, okay, so he planted a seed back then by supplying the one side um, and breaking the prime directive, and now he wants to go and see what actually happened. So he does. He gets a few people together, none of the regular characters, uh, hires a ship, and out he goes. So what he finds there on Neural is that the Klingons indeed are still there, uh, they've built a, a mine and a smelter, and they're they're pulling minerals out of the uh, out out of the earth uh, to feed their voracious appetite for power and energy and such. Um, so, in order to do this, Apella, who's leading uh, the villagers, um, uh, has enslaved uh, hill people and others to do the mining for them. So, so they're in conflict, and and nothing's uh, nothing has improved since the time that Kirk left before. So. Uh, so here now, he's actually going back and seeing if he can remedy the situation and stop the Klingons and so on and so forth. Um, so in, in that sense, it's, uh, it's very much a typical Star Trek type story. The bi uh, now, I don't want to give away the plot, so I'm not going to tell you anything more, but I can tell you in terms of the story itself, it follows uh, a hero's journey um, uh, pattern. So there are battles along the way. There's the point of no return and all of those, you know, call to action and all that wonderful stuff that you see in a hero's journey. And there's a, a, a pretty massive, uh, awesome battle at the end uh, featuring uh, ships and um, and armies and, you know, all kinds of wonderful stuff. So I, I re really enjoyed the ending, actually. Um, so let me talk a little bit about uh, this this story uh, itself, the way it's written by by Jeff Marriott. Um, I think now th there are regular writers who write for uh, Star Trek, um, uh, and uh, and I got to say this is the first one I've read by by Jeff, and I really do enjoy his style of writing. I think he brought a an element to Kirk's character that that seems to be missing from some of the other stories that we see. Um, so I, I felt that uh, that Kirk was uh, was was given um, he was the characterization was still true to what we come to expect from Captain Kirk, um, but also there was a fair bit of background uh, and, and interesting um, material that that informs how we see him here. It's a little bit different from from before. Um, Mind you, he's a hero, so he eventually saves the day, of course, with the help of others. But 
um, but I really like the way he was portrayed here, and I just uh, didn't get that sense from uh, from some of the other novels that are in the Star Trek universe. Um, so I really enjoyed it, and I've got to say now I haven't read all of the uh, all of the Star Trek novels yet. They're on my uh, to read list, um, but so far this is my favorite, and perhaps that's inspired me to actually do the the, the video book review. Um, so I gave it on Goodreads. I gave it four out of five stars, and I noticed that that uh, in some of the reviews on Goodreads and Amazon and elsewhere, um, readers aren't that that particularly happy with. Uh, with this book because it doesn't have Spock and McCoy and and, the, and those other guys. It's really focused on Admiral Kirk and uh, some people don't like that, but I really, really enjoyed it. So I think if you're, um, oh, uh, now uh, Scotty is in it um, and Uhura and um, uh, Chekhov as well, but they really, really play very, very small roles uh, in the story. It, it focuses on Kirk and a couple of other characters that, that he brings along. And, of course, some of the, the, the villagers and the hill people and, uh, and the nasty Klingon and everyone else uh, is, is fairly new to the, to the story. Um, so if you're looking for a, a typical Star Trek um, novel that features Spock and McCoy and the banter between them all and that kind of thing. It doesn't happen here. You're not going to see it here. Um, but I still really enjoyed this, uh, this story. Um, and, and so I think if you're looking for, um, for a typical Star Trek novel that focuses mostly on Kirk, you'll like this. If you're, if you're looking for more Spock and McCoy, it's not in here for you. Um, so uh, I guess the other thing that I would add is that if you haven't seen the original TV show, A Private Little War, that features Tyree of the Hill People and Appella from the Villagers and Krell the Klingon and, and these other characters, um, you don't have to have seen it to enjoy this story. Um, but if you do happen to have it on DVD or, or elsewhere, um, it would be a great idea to, uh, uh, to go through it, have a look at the show again, um, cheesy as it is now. <laughs> um, and uh, that will give you a nice little uh, entryway into the novel here to, to see what happens a few years later. Uh, anyway, four out of five stars for me on Goodreads and, uh, and Amazon. I hope uh, you have a chance to pick it up and go give it a, a read. If you're a fan of the original series, you'll love it. Uh, if you're a casual Star Trek fan, uh, you actually might enjoy this too, because it's not a, a typical, what I would call a typical Star Trek story. Anyway, I hope you have a chance to read it and uh, check out Jeff's website and see what else he's written um, and, uh, and enjoy, uh, enjoy your reading. Thanks.